let's talk about some um, uh, the Xamarin Profiler and some application performance. Um, so the main features of the Profiler is the allocations instrument, and that's really around memory usage. Um, and then there is the timer profile instrument, which is really around timing of functions. Um, so for allocations, uh, basically you could go to a details page uh, in your application. So say you've got a list, you could click on an item in the list, you could go to the details page, and then you could go back and forth and see if memory is being consumed and freed up appropriately. And obviously you could incorporate that with Xamarin Test Cloud to test this. Um, to actually see, you know, how that's working. A couple of real-world examples of this that we've gone through is uh, in one of our applications, uh, uh, we have a map screen, and we have uh, points of interest on that map screen. And as you pan around that map, we add additional points of interest. So think a point of interest kind of like you're on Google Maps looking at restaurants and you move around. Um, we saw memory issues. We weren't really freeing up the memory correctly and the tool allowed us to see that. Uh, another example from a timer profile that we found is as we were adding new points of interest, um, the uh, methods were running more and more slowly, so we had a way to ba basically investigate why performance was degrading because we got to time it. Um, one of the big advantages of the Xamarin Profiler is that you only have to use one tool. Uh, like Nate was showing examples of some of the things that Xamarin have integrated into the platform. The profile is another great example. There's a profiler for uh, iOS and one for Android, but this is Xamarin's tool and you only have to learn one instead of the platform specific one. Uh, so a couple of screenshots to show you what's in the profiler. Um, so the allocations instrument, you can see uh, classes that were created, you can see their size, you can search for specific classes. Uh, and this is useful sometimes because you can see uh, are you surprised by the number of instances of a class being created, or are you surprised by the memory usage of a class? So you may have a class you know that re that stays in memory, retains, and this kind of gives you some visibility to the classes you've created uh, and the app is using, and how much memory they're taking. Um, the call tree is a different view within the profiler, and it shows all the calls within the app, including memory allocations. And it lets you drill down into objects to see what they're using, to see what they're made up of. Uh, the timer profiler is particularly useful. So it pauses at regular intervals and runs a stack trace, so you can kind of see what's going on. It show, each row in this shows you the execution path that's being followed. And you can see the order that methods are being called and see if there's any efficiencies, inefficiencies. Um, one really cool thing here is sometimes in apps that get complex or, or you know, have got thousands of hours of work in them like enterprise apps, sometimes you can in, in, inadvertently introduce spaghetti code where, you know, something that you're functioning goes through a lot of methods. Uh, this would allow you to see that and you might look at some efficiencies to do that. Another example is, uh, you know, a lot of apps do remote service calls to go get data from a server. And a lot of times, you forget to cache that data. So you might see in here that a, a service is being called over and over again, right? Uh, a remote service that's got some network latency to perform. And you might look at it and say, hey, maybe we should cache that data so that we don't call that service as often as we are doing. So the profiler gives you some um, really, really valuable insights on memory usage and, and uh, how your app is performing. Um, there are some native tools, obviously. Uh, on the Android side, there's a memory monitor and a heat viewer, viewer and an allocation tracker. Um, and then on the iOS side, there are a whole suite of tools uh, like counters, energy diagnostics, etc. And although the profiler doesn't replace all of these tools uh, from the two topics we discussed, um, you're not having to learn individual tools here. You've got the Xamarin Profiler, and if you do Android and iOS, you learn one tool, you can do both which obviously is a huge benefit of the platform.